Now we put it all together for a merchandise company by going through the income statement for merchandise. Now we had introduced before a classified balance sheet. This could be a classified income statement. For a service company you just had sales and expenses. Here though we have a classified income statement that shows the relationships of uh, how well a company is performing. Now for example by deducting the cost of goods sold from operating revenue you can determine the amount of sales revenue that exceed the cost of the items being sold. So there are major sections in the classified income statement. Operating expenses are classified into those which are selling and those which are admin. For example here Hanlon Retail Store income statement for the year end 2012. Operating revenues is the first section. Cost of goods sold is the second section. This is the main part of it of the income statement. We have to begin with the total sales, 282,000. Now those are gross sales because some customers took discounts and some returned or wanted allowances. We kept track of that in contra sales accounts. So therefore we reduce the gross sales by 20,000 and we come up with net sales. The next section as we talked is the cost of goods sold. Beginning inventory, add purchases, last purchase discounts, purchase returns, net purchases, add transportation in, gives me the net cost of purchases. So therefore, I began with 24,000, the net cost of purchases is 166, so the goods available to be sold to my customers, 190,000. I do a year-end account, a year-end counting of all my inventory, 31,000. Come up with the cost of goods sold. Now we subtract the cost of the items sold from the cost that we sold them for, the selling price, and we get what's called a gross margin. Now from the gross margin, we subtract operating expenses. Now those operating expenses, two categories, selling and admin. Now we list the selling expense, salaries, salesperson travel, delivery expense, advertising, and so on. Any particular order, and we get selling cost of 38.5. So we can relate the selling cost to the total sales. Administrative costs, uh, salaries, expense, rent, insurance, and so on. Those two together give me total operating costs of 75,007. So now that we have that, we get what's income from operations, which is 27,300. Now that's from operating my business, selling goods. But I also have other revenue. I might have rent revenue or interest revenue or interest expenses. So we have, they're called non-operating revenue and expenses and we add or subtract them to come up with the total net income. So there's net income from operations. That's the key one that people who analyze the financial statements look at. They want to see how well this company is doing in terms of operations. So, some new terms. Operating revenues are revenues generated by the major activities of the business. That is, the sale of the products, or services, or both. The cost of goods sold is a major expense in merchandise company. The excess of net sales over the cost of goods sold is called a gross margin, or sometimes called the gross profit. All of these are new terms for you. Operating expenses for a merchandise company are those expenses other than the cost of goods sold, incurred in the normal business function. That's the rent and the salary. And they're broken into salary, selling expenses and administrative expenses. There's a section two for non-operating expenses. So some of the key relationships, net sales, is equal to the gross sales minus sales discount and sales returns and allowances. Net purchases is equal to purchases minus purchase discounts and purchase returns and allowances. Net cost of purchases, I add transportation in on the purchase to the purchase account. Cost of goods sold, beginning inventory, plus net purchases minus anything. Gross margin, net sales minus the cost of goods sold. Income from operation, gross margin, operating, selling and min expenses, net income. So these relationships are important because 
of the way it relates to the overall measure of the profitability of a business. So you should understand these relationships, memorize them, come to an understanding of the new terminology. And that was because this is how it relates to a merchandise company. And we're going to do a lot of journal entries relating to a merchandise company.